What's up dudes, it's Chad here at Bay Big Plums Fishing with another session at Chalk Springs in Arundel in mid-February 2023. I was having a good old think when I was editing this video and I thought I was going to uh, kind of take some bits and pieces out, um, but actually I've decided to leave them in. I've done it for a bit of comedic effect and also for, we've all been on these sessions. You know those sessions where if your fly line is going to snag a tree or snag a branch when you're trying to get a fish and frustrate you? That's what happened to me in this day. I accidentally also foul hooked a fish as well it was one of those days i actually really enjoyed it but it was filled with little bits of frustrations i thought i'd leave them in the video because fishing isn't perfect we all have those days when things go wrong for us and it's important to show that in video as well as the successes hope you enjoyed the video guys chat out Gonna wind all my line in. Black and gold humongous. Let's go with something a bit smaller. That was really close, that was a nice fish too. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Come on, come on. There's one right there that I want. Go to the go away from the small ones first. really close then chasing that big time Fortunately, things that can happen when you're pulling flies through the water with hooks on them is unintentionally you can foul hook fish on occasion. I was stalking two big fish, one of them spooked and shot off and he got hooked right through the tail. Now I had to kind of haul this fish in backwards so um, I didn't really have a lot of choice, had to uh, add to euthanize it once i got it to the bank had to kill it for the dinner table um all you can really do in this situation is let the line go loose and hopefully it shake the hook off but didn't happen on this occasion oh. all right hey guys unfortunately um i've been stalking two trout and casting this blood worm to them and for some reason this trout turned on it and and the fly ended up in his tail um, very very frustrating because that's not the way I like to catch fish um, but obviously now I've hooked it on a barbed hook I've got no choice I'm going to have to just haul him in oh dear how disappointing folks how disappointing that is not the way I like to catch fish a bit is in. Oh. Well, and it comes out in a bloody net, of course it does. Very frustrating folks. Um, completely unintentional for my part. But he literally turned and the line started tailing off. Okay. That's a suicidal rainbow there. <laughs> um, there's a nice one just a bit further along oh 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 whoa whoa look at him go suicidal rainbow look look 
that. And he's still at it, look. Look, look. Unbelievable. <laughs> that is the definition of suicidal rainbow. Absolutely insane. It's a nice rainbow though, it's not that three pound. He was literally steaming across the lake for that. Oh. In we go, my friend. Oh, hello. Or not. In. There we go. <laughs> you wanted that daddy, didn't you? You really did. Try again. <clears throat> Let's try again. Seen plenty of decent fish today, guys. Um, I've just changed up to a, a hare's ear, a heavy hare's ear uh, from a fly because I'm uh, attacking them with big damsels and stalking bugs and they literally are not interested in the slightest but I have had a few um, follows on sort of slightly smaller stalking bugs so um, I've been quite close to hooking a couple of the doubles but lot of all these things once they're aware of your presence your job is much harder you're better off having a few goes at something and then moving on um, I am aware that there's the inherent risk of someone else moving in on the fish you've spotted but on a public venue that is what it is but you know if they come in and catch your fish or what you consider to be the fish you're stalking they might be using a different method or a different fly or whatever um, which you may not have got anyway oh sorry guys I just said the F word there I had one of the big ones come from my kick-ass damsel grabbed it and spat it I'm gonna have another go at that because that's a really positive take right I'm gonna Around the front of you again, mate. Not now. Why is it whenever you're chasing a f fish, fly line buggers you up? That's really annoying. Oh, and I probably lost him now. Oh, that's the best take I've had in ages as well. Oh, you. have another go at that fish because he wanted that then I think 
I've just I missed my chance up, I think. We'll give it a go, though. Come on. Untangle. Let's sink. Let go. Boom. Boom. Damn it. Oh, I can't believe that, guys. That's the best shot I've had on the big fish here all morning. Uh, he chased it, he golfed it, and it didn't hook when I struck for some reason. He's absolutely miles away now. So what I'm gonna do, put my net on my back, and then I'm gonna follow him, I'm gonna have another. Because he was so positive in taking that then. Ow, twist my wrist. I think he'll have another go at that if he's given the opportunity. Better fish, right? Let me get on the reel here. There we go. There we go. That's the one. Remember, guys, my secret pattern kick ass damsel. Don't think it's quite a double, but a nice fish. To have hooked anyway. It's a lovely condition looking rainbow, guys. Oh, I don't know, that's quite chunky. That's quite chunky. Ooh. Got to be a reasonable trout. <laughs> I was actually throwing my toys out the pram a little bit there guys because um, this trout actually grabbed it and spat it once and I thought I'd missed my opportunity I generally threw my dummy out the pram I'm not going to lie not going to lie generally interested on the size of this guys Definitely nice chunk of Rooney. Kick our stamps again, guys, does it? Chad's secret pattern from Fast Mail Tackle. Funny thing is, I actually turned the camera off before hooking him. <laughs> so I think with GoPro, you ain't got so much battery. Oof. This is going well. Wow, 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 wow. He's got a bit of that leaf on his head. Let's see where we're at. Are we anywhere near netting this fish? I don't know if we are. Six pound fluorocarbon, so I'm not going to bully it. But um, after this, guys, I think it's lunch time. <laughs> Definitely lunch time. Ooh. Come here. Let's see what we're at. Mate, Let's see where we're at. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Got it. Yes. Now that is a chunky fish. That's a very chunky fish. Nice. Kick our stand and does it again. Let's uh, weigh this lump of the fish. Um, it's got to be seven or eight pounds, something like that. Uh, let's whack on the right. scales. Oh, I've one-handed, this is fun. Oh, it's got a big head on it, isn't it? 
Oh, seven and a half. So there you go, guys, a kick-ass damsel does it again. I've gone back to the car, got my low light glasses, had a bite to eat. There's literally no sunlight at all. Very, very cloudy. So I think these low, glass, low light glasses might do the trick. I've got one fish left on my ticket. Let's see what we can do. That other big fish resting up here. So I'm just gonna have a go with my little copper bug. No doubt from coming back. I'm probably not gonna see him this time. I left my stalking bug out just a little bit too long and this plucky little rainbow decided that he wanted this uh, whitehead pheasant tail. Um, I was actually after a couple of uh, bigger fish that are swimming around this swim at the, mo around at the moment but um, this time of year the, the uh, fish are particularly hungry. Um, and they come in snaffled. <laughs> My uh, whitehead pheasant tail. It's a stalking bug, so it's tungsten and it's wrapped in lead, so it's quite heavy. I just, as last video, I just saw my line tailing off. But, uh, that's okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Um, you know, that last fish was absolutely awesome. Um, and I filled my ticket. Obviously, the film is absolutely awful, um, but it is being held with a mobile phone in my left hand and playing the fish with the right hand, which is always a bit on the dicey side. Uh, right, so let's see if I can net this. This is near enough impossible. How do I used to film like this? Oh. Oh. Bring this fish in. <laughs> All right, mister. You can see that white pheasant tail there in his mouth. It's a really nice condition fish, actually. Oh, in the air, come, mister. There we go, it's the pheasant tail there. There we go guys, that's four, and uh, awesome. Alright then dudes, I generally had a really nice day at Arundel at Chalk Springs. Um, it was filled with a few frustrations. Obviously, I've got a bit of disappointment that I ended up catching that first fish the way that I did. Uh, I never want to foul hook a fish. It's not what I get set out to do. Um, and I had a good day. It was filled with a few frustrations. It just seemed to me that every single time I spotted a big fish, I would end up catching the bank on my back cast or my fly line would wrap around my rod and I'd miss my chance or I'd uh, catch the brushes or the bushes. But that's why it's called fishing not catching guys we all have sessions like that it doesn't mean you don't enjoy the day it just means that there are challenges to catching your fish you know it's very easy to sit there with your editing software and take all these things out i know i sometimes do but we've all been there we've all felt these little frustrations but that's what makes it an enjoyable day sport because the challenge of the uh, occasion Okay, guys, another great session at Chalk Springs. I highly recommend it. There was oodles of big fish there on this particular day. So um, get yourselves down to Arundel, dudes. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video.